Okay, so today's case, actually we're doing a breast reduction with implants. So initially, at first glance, that might sound like counteractive because you're reducing the breast, but you're also putting implants. And uh, to some degree that is uh, true, but over the years, if you go over the history of patients that had breast reductions, for the most part, that surgery was performed without doing implants because uh, there were some concerns of having problems with one healing, which are actually valid. Uh, now, as time has passed and patients have noticed the difference of having implants, especially in the upper pole where you get fullness, you know, a lot of uh, patients want to still reduce the size of their breasts, do or have them lifted, but also have some sort of uh, upper pole fullness. So, more frequently these days, yes, some patients, and I say some of them, are candidates to do a breast reduction with breast implant. Like this particular patient saw, I think, four surgeons over the past three years. Actually, she's been looking to have the surgeon for three years. She saw two surgeons initially, and just in the past year, she saw four surgeons. And of those four surgeons, uh, I think she told me two of them told her that they could not do the procedure combined. Um, after I evaluated her, I figured uh, that actually, yeah, she was a good candidate to do a combined uh, procedure. But I think it's important to understand that, uh, yes, in some patients, you can reduce the breast and also use an implant in a safe manner. And there are some uh, scientific papers actually uh, that confirm that the complication rate from just doing a breast reduction versus doing a breast reduction with implants, it's uh, very similar. Therefore, no uh, absolute uh, contraindication to do both at the same time. Of course, if you have uh, the right uh, patient for it. Um, and usually, I haven't seen anything in particular in terms of how big of a reduction can have implants or not, but um, you know, patients with extremely large breasts might not necessarily uh, be good to have uh, implants. Also, I think it's very important the way you tailor the technique to make sure that even though you have to remove breast tissue, that you do that at the end after you have already measured and see how much uh, your breast implant is going to occupy how much volume and uh, that's pretty much it so it's a mid case and breast reduction with implant it's a possible safe option in some patients